These are the only six footprints I needed when I started building. Next I'm going to show you the footprints and how to expand them to your liking. First up we have the egg. This footprint is great for any group from small groups to even large groups. The egg is one of my favorite footprints to build on because you can do a whole lot with it. Here are a couple ways I would use it for different groups. For solos, duos or small groups I would also consider leaving the triangles out of the core and making them honeycombing. And for larger groups I like to use these footprints. Circle. Circle is one of the best if not the best footprint for large groups. However, with smaller circle even smaller groups can enjoy this footprint. I like to expand it like this. Small groups, medium groups and large groups. Dorito. Dorito is solid option for small group, but I wouldn't use this footprint for large groups mainly because building the white core on this is very hard. Here is common Dorito expansion. The 2 by one You often see small groups building bases on this footprint and it isn't a surprise. 2x1 works great for solos, duos or small groups. You can use just a 2x1 part or expand it something like this. The big brother of the 2x1, the 3x1. I would fit on this footprint a small group or a medium group. I like to use it like this or like this. And lastly we have the squares. The squares offer a solid foundation for any group size. However, you should use them with caution since they can be easy to offline raid and they are pretty boring since you repeat the same things over and over again. I like to mostly build on the 1x1, 2x2, 4x4 and 5x5 footprints. You might have noticed that I didn't include some footprints as for example these. It's because they are either very hard to expand or the cores are bad. And what comes to solo bases, they don't need to be symmetrical so you can use whatever type of footprint you feel like. A few things about footprints. Usually sticking more than two squares or multiple triangles together is a bad idea since it can make the base expensive, very hard to work with and lack variety. If I'm working on vanilla base I usually think about wall stacking my base. It helps to keep upkeep low and gives great opportunities for bunkers. Keep your footprint symmetrical so that it's easier to build and design. Bunkers are a big part of building and here is my favorite way to integrate them into my builds. It's just a circle that is wall stacked in the middle. However, what comes to square bunkers, you just need to play around with them. Keep in mind that the loot room part usually needs to be separated from the wall that opens the bunker, like so. Good mobility is necessary in any base, so here are a couple ways you can fit mobility shoots and rings into your footprints. You could have mobility shoots like this and ring going around like this. They connect together and provide great mobility. That's it for today, hit the subscribe button and check out this video, it's really cool.